Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome! I hope you consider subscribing, and if you're back, as always, welcome back! Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from the fabulous folks over at Diamond Art Club. This is one of their new releases this week. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this over for me to get to share with all of you ahead of the weekend. Hopefully this video will help you decide if this kit is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend or your wish list for the future. So um, this kit, along with the other new releases this week, are going to be releasing tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 19th. They'll release at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Diamond and Ruby Level Rewards members. They'll have a half an hour early access window. And then half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, the general release will go live. So feel free to convert that to your respective time zone, especially after the time change, uh, to make sure you know exactly when this will be releasing for you. So what I have for you today is my first kit from this artist actually, but it's stunning. This is Dusk to Dawn from the fabulous Deborah Malcolm. Now, if you are in the Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group, or if you just have been in various different Facebook groups uh, related to diamond painting out there, I feel like chances are good that you've seen Deborah Malcolm posting her projects as she's working on them, and I absolutely love that. I've been waiting for the right piece to come along that I want to tackle, and when I saw the amazing colors in this one, I couldn't resist. Now, I I swear I didn't know what the size on this one was until after I'd already picked this particular piece, uh, but it is a big one. It is 155 by 51 centimeters. It's giving me some deja vu to that massive Spangler Castle <laughs> sneak peek I did a couple weeks back. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a square diamond, diamond painting kit. They let us know with that symbol there. There also it says square diamonds. <laughs> On the back, we've got info about how diamond painting works and all of that, as well as your kit contents. Let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So how are you doing? How has your week been? Any fun plans for the weekend? I, for one, am looking forward to all the Diamond Art Club releases as always. Okay, this is like literally, oh my gosh, this is wedged in here. How many bags? Do we think we have two bags of diamonds in this one like we did for that Spangler a couple weeks back? <laughs> this is so heavy, you guys. <laughs> okay, so first up, it looks like this kit, this, this one anyway, did come with one of these newer toolkits. I see this question asked quite often, people wondering, um, how do I know if the kit that I'm ordering, whether it's gonna come with a new toolkit or not? Best answer I have is you don't know. <laughs> uh, these upgraded toolkits with some changes are not even being promoted on Diamond Art Club's website yet. They are in the process of transitioning to them and transitions take time, especially when things go into production months and months and months in advance. So I just strongly recommend that you be very patient. Honestly, the, the older toolkits are fantastic. They have everything you're going to need to do your diamond painting. Um, these just come with a couple of bonuses, uh, but they're not, I really don't feel that they're deal breakers. So don't panic on that. Uh, we're going to get a pair of tweezers. These ones are the pink ombre ones. You might get this color. You might get black. They are a bit pointy. Uh, if you were to get a round drill diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club, they're not, that's not going to come with tweezers. The tweezers just come with the square kits. We have a pen, a sparkly pen, and a squishy. Your mileage may vary as far as the actual colors of these that you get. We've got a caddy with a couple of plates of pink heart wax. Be sure to take the plastic film on the tops of those off before you try to stab it with your pen. We have a bag of baggies. I will say that I do appreciate in these newer toolkits that they put all the baggies inside another baggie because I always made a mess and got baggies everywhere when I opened up the older toolkits. Uh, we do have a clear tray. It's got some like gold sparkle to it. This little piece that I just dropped, this is not a mistake. This is a stopper. I see that people asking about that a lot as well. You can put a stopper in here so you don't have to worry so much about your drills spilling out if you tilt your tray. It looks like we just have, oh, here we go. As I say, I thought there are usually two. We have two thin plastic multi-placers. 
And then these are the main bonus items that are also kind of a question mark because you may or may not get these in your tool, your upgraded toolkit. There's a roll of washi tape and there is, this is a cover minder. Uh, you can use washi tape. I like to use it to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field because then it won't get any fuzzies or dirt or dust in it. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvases. If you're not sure what I mean by that, I'll link a video below. You can take a look. This is what we call a cover minder. Again, the ex exact design and style of this is going to vary if you get one. Um, and there's these two magnets on the back. And what you can do is put this under your canvas, peel back the plastic cover of the section you wanna work on, and then put that on top of the plastic cover and it'll help hold it back. So that's what you do with cover minders and washi tape. Let me shift this all to the side real quick. And then here we have the smaller sticker that these usually come with the kits as well. This is kind of a logbook sticker. I'm trying to show you some of that original artwork. It's so large that the thumbnail just is not going to do it justice. <laughs> but I like to use these in my paper logbooks once I start working on a kit. I like that it has all of the info like the title, the artist, and the artwork itself and the other uh, info like the size. So uh, some people will use these to sort through their stash and organize it a little bit more easily. Some people get creative with these, uh, make minders and other crafty things out of it. You can do whatever you like with it. Let's get into the kit itself. <laughs> like I said, I am guessing that we're gonna have two separate bags of drills in here just because I think we're gonna have to. So it came in that plastic dust cover bag. This is, you guys, this is gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh. So I will not be able to fit the entire canvas and frame right now, but I am in just a bit, I've got a little bit further in the video, I will be sure to put in a picture of the entire canvas so that you can see what it looks like in its full glory. So that I feel like we're probably what about halfway. This is like this, the dawn part because the name of this piece is dusk to dawn. So there we've got our dawn. Now I'm going to shift it so you can still see the dusk part. Wow, these colors are incredible. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And we just about got to the end there. Okay, so yep. Two giant bags of drills. <laughs> we'll look at those in just a bit. So, um, <laughs> I always am not sure how in the world to really do these kinds of canvases justice when they're this large. But here, you can enjoy the desk side of things for a moment. Included in your kit will be a thank you, a how to little pamphlet here. These are different depending on if you've gotten one of the upgraded tool. Well, usually if there's an upgraded toolkit in your kit, it's also going to come with a slightly updated little pamphlet as well. But anyway, there's info about your kit contents, some video links that are really helpful, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm very much a visual learner, so I'm like, yes, give me that YouTube video. Uh, also, I want to make sure I point out to you here, the VIP Facebook group. I find this to be a really helpful resource as well as a fun community to be a part of. Um, a lot of times Diamond Art Club will share some behind the scenes stuff. They just this past week put up a poll for us to vote on kits for Halloween and our thoughts on those. So once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, definitely take a look at this Facebook group. And it's also just a really fun place to share your progress and um, finished projects and see what other people are working on as well. We have some tips and tricks here as well as a discount code and some more spots for discounts like the app. You get 20% off your first purchase. Speaking of discount codes, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking to make your first purchase, if you'd like to save 20%, um, I do actually have an affiliate discount code you're welcome to use. It's my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and then the number 20. You can put that in the coupon code or discount code box at checkout, and that will save you 20% off of your first order. Now, please, I, I always make sure that you no upfront, please don't feel obligated to use that because I may make a small commission. The only thing that I say is please don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. You can find discount codes all over the place. I just showed you two in this booklet. There's often one on the canvas. There's one on your backing slip. There's one in the VIP Facebook group. Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price. So please take advantage of the discount codes that are out there. There are also other affiliates. So, um, but if you do use mine, thank you in advance. I super appreciate it. Anything I make always goes right back into my channel. Also included in your kit, this is a sticker sheet. So there's a little bit larger look at this original artwork. 
look at that color gradient. This is going to be so pretty. I can't wait. So uh, again, this is Dusk to Dawn. Deborah Malcolm is the artist. Start date and end date, a little spot you can write that. Info about the kit again. And then over here, these are pre-cut stickers for you. If you like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers like I do, these being pre-cut and being stickers make that process so fast and easy. I really like that about Diamond Art Club's uh, inventory sheets here. It looks like we're gonna have 52 colors. The color code is the same as the DMC color code with the exception of any numbers under the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's numbering system are going to be something called AB drills, Aurora Borealis drills. I'm gonna tell you more about those once we're actually looking at those diamonds here in just a couple of minutes. I wanted to take just a brief glance at the symbols and see if any stand out to me as easy to mix up. Diamond Art Club is usually pretty good about not having any that are so similar that you're gonna not be able to tell the difference, but sometimes we have things like a couple of corners, like, okay. So we have this one, like this orange, I call this like, the orange left corner, upper left corner. And then we have another one that's like the lower right corner, but those are completely different colors. So I really don't think that that's gonna be too problematic, but this looks good from what I'm seeing. Yay. <laughs> Let me take you on just a little tour of the canvas itself, some of the elements of it. Bear with me, it's gonna take me a bit just because it is a bit unwieldy to work with given that it is 155 centimeters. So up here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club's branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle. You can see that the edges are scalloped and finished. And yes, there is like a little fuzzy here that I think, it, yeah, that's just where it wasn't cut perfectly cleanly. You are not going to have to worry about any fraying here. The backs of Diamond Art Club's canvases are this really, it's soft, but it's like really sturdy and malleable. It's just a dream to work on. You can see that I'm like whipping this canvas all over the place and it's like immediately like, it's okay, I'll lay flat again. <laughs> so I really think Diamond Art Club's canvases are fantastic in that sense. Uh, the glue, they use a poured glue. It's very sticky. It's kind of springy to work on and it holds drills really well. I've never run into issues with diamonds falling off of my Diamond Art Club kits once they're finished. So yay. <laughs> Over here at the top left, though this is taking up most of the height of the canvas, this is a legend. Um, down here at the bottom left, we have info about the artwork and the kit itself. So one of my Favorite things to point out here, copyright. So this piece has been legally licensed by Diamond Art Club from the artist, Deborah Malcolm. So that means that Deborah Malcolm has not only given her permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club as a diamond painting, but Deborah Malcolm is also being fairly compensated for the use of her artwork. Since art theft is so rampant in the crafting and diamond painting worlds, I am all about giving all of the accolades to companies like Diamond Art Club that are trying to do right by artists and do, do kits the right way. So here at the bottom, we have Diamond Art Club's social media info. Um, like I said, I recommend following. Oh, I mentioned the Facebook group. I did not necessarily mention Diamond Art Club's social media pages. I recommend following those because that is where they're going to preview the new releases for the week. So you can know exactly what's going to be released that particular week or a special Wednesday release, which has been happening more and more often lately. Here at the uh, bottom right, we have another legend, same as the one that we saw on the top left. And then here down at the very bottom, we have info about Diamond Art Club's lifetime guarantee or lifetime warranty. So as long as you are the original purchaser of the kit, if you ever run into any issues, whether it's with the quality of the diamonds or if something happens to the glue or your canvas or Anything at all, if you run into issues, contact Diamond Art Club. I suggest using their, they have an email address through the website and I think a chat feature on the website. You can also contact them through Facebook Messenger. I have found them to be really helpful and responsive, even in the amount of time, the significant amount of time that I was just a customer of theirs before I became an affiliate or sneak peeker. So anyway, I'm gonna attempt to do a measurement on this canvas for us. So let's take a look and see. I want to see because I have a suspicion about what they have done with their drill field. 
lately that they've been talking about doing. I, I'll explain here in just a moment. I want to see if this has a similar, a similar thing happen. So first I'll measure top to bottom. We should be at 51 centimeters. So, yep, this is kind of what I suspected. So we're at exactly 50 centimeters. Hold, I'll, I'll explain after I measure left to right. So we're exactly one centimeter shy uh, that direction. And, all right, 153. And I think we were supposed to be at 154. We're supposed to be at 155. Okay, so we are a bit shy both directions. I let Diamond Art Club know this after my last two sneak peeks from them, which were also square drill diamond painting kits, were each exactly one centimeter shy of the listed dimensions. So I'll let them know about this one as well. So after sneak peeking at the beekeeper last week and completing it, um, my theory is that the grid change the this, this slight change in like the size of the grid, which Diamond Art Club has been mentioning in like the VIP group a couple of times about how they're planning to make some small adjustments to that. My guess is that that maybe is what's happening, at least with these square drill fields. Um, I noticed that on the beekeeper that the, the diamonds did fit a little bit more snugly with a little bit less gapping. They didn't pop whatsoever, which was amazing, but it was nice to see that there was virtually no gapping or very, very, very minimal gapping. So that's my best guess. I'm going to let them know about this canvas as well, just so that they're aware. Um, but to be honest with you, one centimeter top to bottom and two centimeters left to right difference from what they have listed it as. To me, I really don't find that to be at all a deal breaker. And I don't think that it is at all going to affect the overall finished effect of the image. I just want to be completely transparent about what I'm seeing when I unbox this kit and wanted to let you guys know and also let you know what my theory is about what's going on there. So anyway, let's take a look at the drill field just a little bit for clarity and we'll go a little bit quick because this is such a large canvas and I don't want to keep you here all day. But first, let's look at this amazing sun or moon moon <laughs> i think love the color shading in that these color shifts up here in the sky as we go across you can see that there is actually there's quite a bit of color blocking oops sorry to bump you there <laughs> hazard of a large canvas here um color blocking is when we have large sections of the same color you can see like there's big sections in here of the same symbol you'll be able to use your multi-placer if you like to multi-place you'll have that same color in your tray for a while generally sections with lots of color blocking like this go quickly compared to sections of, by comparison, confetti. I don't even know if there's gonna be a really good example of confetti in here just because of the nature of this artwork. Maybe a close example is like this little mountain here because there are some color changes in here. Um, and you know, just two or three drills of the same color in a row. So you'll change your colors a little bit more often there. But I don't even think of that as like true confetti. You know, I don't think Deborah Malcolm's artwork generally is confetti heavy. I think that it is usually this amazing color blocking for these color shifts. So there's maybe a little bit of confetti here on the bottom third with all these silhouettes. But oh my gosh, you guys, these colors, this is going to be so pretty. And you know what the really nice thing about there being quite a bit of color blocking is, here's our other moon, by the way, is that even a canvas this size, I bet is not going to take super, super long because if there's lots of color blocking, you'll move through those, can those sections a little bit more quickly. Everything I'm seeing as far as the drill field goes, it's printed really clearly. Look, we're gonna have some stars up here. I'm sure that these are white ABs, spoiler alert, <laughs> but that's gonna be so pretty. Oh my gosh. I would love to work on this so soon because the rainbow of colors in it, oh my gosh, it's so happy, I love it. So here, I'll let you enjoy kind of that transition from dusk to dawn. And while you're doing that, I'd like to pull out the diamonds to share with you all. So we have two separate bags, like I said, they have labeled both of them. So if you like to store your diamonds separate from the canvas outside of the box that they came in, it'll be easy to match them up later because not only do they have the artwork title, they've got the two one and two two here so you know that you're looking for two different bags of diamonds. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start with the bigger bag, I suppose, and see, see what we're working with color-wise.
Here's that first set of diamonds. Look at how gorgeous. And doesn't it perfectly match like the colors you're seeing on the canvas? So let's go ahead and take a look. Like I said, this one's gonna have 52 colors. And these will, I think, most likely be Diamond Art Club's newer square diamonds. If you didn't know, back in the fall, or is it summer, Diamond Art Club did begin to transition over to manufacturing all of their diamonds in-house. So they saw that, hey, we've got these really good square drills already, but we see some areas that we can make them even better and improve them. Hold that thought because we have our first AB here, 141, like I said, in Diamond Art Club's numbering system. Anything under 150 is gonna be an AB drill. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And how perfect is the name of this particular special diamond when it comes to this kit as well, right? <laughs> With the colors and the color shift. So Aurora Borealis, um, it's named that way because if you look, there's these amazing iridescent coatings on the tops of these diamonds kind of have an effect of the northern lights. You can see this, this white AB drill is actually reflecting like pink, blue, yellow, green. It's a color shift on top there. Isn't that so pretty? The areas that these have been charted, it's gonna dry your eye to a bit. It's gonna sparkle that much more and it can really, really enhance a, a painting beautifully. Like I said, I'm sure that these are gonna be in some of the stars in the sky, but I will be sure to point out to you, we'll go through the canvas and I'll point out where each of the different AB diamonds in this kit go so you know what to expect. Anyway, we were talking about Diamond Art Club's new diamonds. They thought we can make some improvements. So they decided to start manufacturing all their diamonds in house and Oh my gosh, their new square diamonds are incredible. They did switch over to new round diamonds as well, but I think it's more easy, it's easier to tell the difference with the squares because, well, for one, I feel like when I run my hands over the packages, they feel soft and smooth and like silky in the package comparatively. Uh, but the other big difference is that, sorry, hold up, how many bags of 310? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of 310. That's a black diamond. Now, the tops of all these diamonds are going to have 13 facets. The older diamonds will have a mix of diamonds with nine facets and 13 facets cut on the top. So that's the easy way to tell the difference with the new squares and old squares. Pretty goldenrod color, purples. Ooh, a tiny handful of 758. <laughs> Just there on the end. And here's the last strand for this packet. All right, first up, 107. Look at that like cherry red AB. Ooh, that is striking, I love that. It looks like these are the diamonds we just have small handfuls of. Ooh, two more ABs back to back. Wow, they're all right there. Uh, so 126, is that really pretty soft lavender AB? And then 138 is a kind of light blue. So sparkly, so pretty. All right, here is another one, <laughs> 129. This I believe is our fifth and final AB diamond. Look at that pretty butter yellow, a little straggler, that green probably hopped over from here, but I love how subtle and sparkly that one is. So pretty. All right. We have about every color of the rainbow here. I love all these. Look at these pinks, some teals, grays. Okay, so that is the end of the first packet of drills. Let's get into the second. And it looks like these may be the ones that we have larger quantities of. So one, two, three, four bags of 740. There's a little bit of, you can see a little bit of static in there where you can see how the diamonds are sticking to the inside of the bag. If you run into static with your diamonds, I recommend cutting up a dryer sheet. And what I will do in this case when I kit this up is I will cut off a tiny like bit of the edge. I'll stuff a piece of little like, you know, one inch square of dryer sheet in there, kind of fold over the top and just move the dryer sheet around and that'll get the static out and it'll pour out really easily into the storage container. One, two, three, four bags of 947. Yeah, I don't usually see static with Diamond Art Club's drills. It must, it's likely my weather. I find that weather is the biggest like indicator of 
um, static neutrals. Four bags of 741. I'm gonna have some pretty grays and purples here, especially when you have a lot of colors that are similar to each other like this. I think that's gonna make for some gorgeous color blending, especially with the way that she's just blended color across the across the board. One, two, three, four, five bags of 939. That's a really deep, dark blue. A couple of bags of 797, a few bags of 820, more shades of blue. Three bags of 327. And then finally, another a purple and a pink. So those are all of our colors that are gonna be in this kit. <clears throat> the diamonds, uh, Diamond Art Club's new square diamonds seem to be really consistent in size. Occasionally you'll run into like a little bit of trash, but that's extremely common with diamonds across the board. So I don't, that's not a problem for me. I just don't wanna have to pick around a ton of trash diamonds. And I wanna make sure I have plenty to be able to finish my painting. Let's take a look together. I wanna to point out where our AB diamonds are gonna go. So we're gonna start here on the right and make our way over to the left. We have the pale yellow AB here in the lightest part. Uh, also the pale yellow AB is a little bit here in the brightest part of this moon. The white AB is this highlight here, as well as all these little stars, all clumps of that white AB. A little more of the pale yellow AB here in the middle and some of the red AB in the brightest red parts of the moon. It's kind of like outlining throughout. That's gonna have a really gorgeous effect, I think. Uh, it looks like we have some of the blue AB doing a little bit of highlighting, I think on the edges of the trees, like where they're facing the light. At the bottom as well, I see the pale yellow AB, a tiny bit of it here, a little bit of the pale yellow through here, as well as the white AB. You can see kind of the lines here. I think that, that <laughs> the, this kind of style of ABs, like doing like kind of linear highlighting, I think perfectly suits Deborah Malcolm's artwork. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Um, more of that red AB here, a little bit here. All the white lines you're seeing, kind of these uh, linear, streaks here of white, white AB, pale yellow AB a little bit here. I'll make sure I'm not gonna miss any. I think I'm mostly worried about, what was that one? A pale lavender AB, I think. I don't wanna miss that one. Um, Let's keep going. <laughs> There's a lot to look at. I'm like, I'll make sure I don't miss it. Okay, so as we keep going, and you can see again how I really am just flopping and folding this canvas all over and it's it's laying perfectly flat anyway. Uh, looking down here again, more of that white AB doing some linear outlining. We have some of the blue AB doing some highlighting here in this lake. More white here, some more white stars up here. And then we're gonna keep going. Again, I'm just Double and triple checking. Did I miss anything? I did miss a little bit. We have some of that red AB up in the brightest part of the sky. There's streaks of that red AB here. I want to work on this, you guys. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going. I want to make sure where... Oh, it's going to be over here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's like, I know that we need to get to that pale lavender AB at some point. Um... Going across, okay, these are not white ABs. The kind of lightest colors you see down here, that's not AB, just so you know. Uh, we do have some white AB highlighting the tops of these mountains and hills though. Blue AB right here. A tiny sprinkle of blue AB down here. And then, let me make sure you can see, all these white stars and dots through here. All the white is white AB. There's a little bit of a like pale blue, like regular drill, I think sprinkled in here as well. But then in the moon, we have that blue AB doing a similar highlighting here as the red AB did in the, in the moon over there. And then here I found our pale purple AB, the lightest part of the moon, kind of giving it some dimension and depth here. Love that. And I think that is all of our ABs. I love that. I love it. I love how Diamond Art Club so intentionally tries to make sure that they're honoring the original artwork. And so how they do ABs and Deborah Malcolm's artwork 
is going to be a little bit different than they might do ABs in Randall Spangler's artwork. <laughs> might be different in how they do ABs in Ennis Guerrero's artwork. I just, I really love how intentional they are about that. Diamond Art Club meticulously hand charts all of their diamond paintings. <laughs> they have an incredible rendering team and they have a really distinct, like clear, crisp rendering style. And I love how they they really, they don't release artwork unless they're fully confident in the finished product. Um, they want to make sure that the size is appropriate for the artwork as well as enjoyable for diamond painters to work on. Everything about the process from them is extremely intentional. And I don't just say that from the perspective of an affiliate. I say that from the perspective of someone that's worked on over 70 different and completed over 70 different diamond paintings from a huge variety of different companies. Diamond Art Club is absolutely one of the best companies out there and one of the best experiences you're going to get. So you guys, this is an incredible canvas. Um, I will leave a note below, by the way, on whether or not this kit will be limited edition. Sometimes Diamond Art Club makes this decision a little bit closer to release time. And so at the time of this filming, I don't know for sure, but they are discontinuing kits and making more kits limited edition now because they're releasing so many amazing kits that they are running out of warehouse space. So um, if this kit is limited edition or for any kits this weekend that are noted as limited edition, what that means is that once this run of that kit sells out, it will not be restocked. So any limited edition kits that you think you might want, I strongly suggest jumping on just to be sure that you don't miss out. But I will note in the description below, please take a look on whether or not this particular kit will be limited edition. So you guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope this sneak peek let you have a sneak peek at this kit and helped you decide on whether or not you'll be shopping for it this weekend or adding it to your wish list for later. A huge thank you to Diamond Art Club again for sending this over for me to share with you ahead of the weekend's releases. And thank you to you all for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And like I said, if you're new to Diamond Art Club and want to save that 20% off your first purchase, you're welcome to use my affiliate code. I also have it linked below if that's helpful. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Good luck to any, any of you that are shopping for the new releases. I hope you get what you have your heart set on and I, I hope that you have an amazing day. If you're not already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I try to share videos pretty often and love checking in with you guys and would love to have you as part of my community here. All right, my friends, I will talk to you again soon. Bye.